Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading guys, it is time stamped. Okay, so if you click in the uh, description bar below, uh, see where it says start reading, click on that and that will bring you to uh, the start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle in camera, on camera. I'm just looking at the two main cards, how you both are showing up, a bit intense, a bit intense. Okay, let's see where this, let's see where this leads and goes. Okay, all right, so let me just take these in and I'll be back. All right, so Sagittarius, let's start your reading. All right, so I, I kind of said this is intense. I thought this was intense. Why? Because it's an intense reading. This is, um, yeah, this is a situation. You 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 seem to be, we've got the Three of Cups there. Let's start with you. You've got the Three of Cups, which talks about third party situation. So it seems like you're already in something. There's already been something that's been established. The person knows, everyone's fully aware, uh, but nevertheless, you you seem to have already established something with someone else which has caused the hold up hence why you've got that hangman there you know you've been unable to move forward with this person because of obviously what you've got going on which has caused this person to kind of plummet into this hermit space this um i feel like it's having an impact on this person a lot more than maybe you might think maybe some of you you're fully aware of just kind of the state they're in at the moment a bit of isolation, maybe just gone a bit quiet uh, to their self, maybe friends and family kind of noticing the change or the difference in this person, but their energy, the space that they're in is um, uh, very reflective, uh, masking their self, you know, trying to process things, trying to make sense of things, let's say that. You're showing up as the high priestess, so there's acknowledgement of, and the reason why it's intense, because of the type of connection that it is. I feel like for you, there's definitely this acknowledgement of this being a deep, deep spiritual connection in some way, shape or form. We've got the high priestess that talks about divine connection, that talks about, you know, um, higher awareness. Um, you know, sometimes it's a soulmate, uh, twin flame, if that's something you believe in. But again, you're in something. So it's like you acknowledge the type of connection that this is it. If I can talk, that this is, but you are in something. I'm not sure what happened because I feel like I'm just kind of getting the sense that something happened, maybe in an argument or maybe some form of disagreement. Yeah, we do have that uh, frustration card there, a minor conflict. But I feel like maybe an, uh, something happened that was a bit bigger than a minor conflict maybe for some of you but definitely there's something that happened that you're wanting to kind of fix or make right uh with this person you do have that queen of wands there so there is this for some of you you've kind of exited out of this other relationship emotionally and mentally but you're still kind of maybe tied to it in some way or you've just not taken the steps in order for you to move out of it but this person is kind of going through this realization of something having changed something having had changed something has changed i feel like where you're at at the moment there's how do i explain that feels like where you're at at the moment something feels different it definitely feels different to this person but they're trying to foster this patience, uh, this understanding. Yeah. Patience and understanding because maybe of the level of connection that it, this is. I feel like this person is trying to, um, I feel like this person has people around them, uh, Sagittarius, that maybe comment on you, their relationship. Uh, and that's simply because of how they're showing up, the impact or the effect is having on them where they're at the moment. I just feel like those that know them see the difference in just their emotional mental space at the moment, hence why they're kind of trying to get this person to maybe think a bit different or 
you know, move away from this, or maybe they have comments or, you know, maybe harsh comments for some, but they're trying to defend that off or wanting to defend that off, keep that at bay, so to speak, as much as they do have this push and pull within them regarding this relationship. On one hand, they've got male, male, well-meaning full friends and family, those that are close to them, that are saying, okay, you know, you know, yes, you love this person or you like this person or whatever the case may be, but you know, they're in something, are they willing to leave this relationship for you? Are they, you know, it's that type of thing. So it's causing them to, you know, have this chariot energy going on within them. It's like, I want to pull on that as well, because as much as that's there, that's also in their want. So I want to see what Yeah, transformation. You see that? We've got the death card there. Yeah, they want to kind of put... They want to kind of... Um, how do I put that? They want to kind of come to terms or iron that out within them. There you go. Iron that out within them. That's where that transformation comes from. And that strategically planning, figuring out how to do that, being uh, cognizant or... Um, uh, yeah, on how to do that. It's this pull, push and pull. One minute... They kind of see where they're well meaningful or not, friends and family are coming from. And then on another day or on one point, they kind of know what they feel and what they've experienced with you. So there's this um, thing that's going on, tug of war type of thing that's going on. Uh, it doesn't feel good. They're not in a good space. You're wanting to process this. There's definitely things that you're needing to process as much as you're hanging on emotionally to this person as much as it is it's challenging for both of you it's challenging for both of you you're both not you're both not in a comfortable place when it comes to this you're both not dealing with this smoothly this person's not going through it as more than you you're not going you're both kind of equally feeling the challenge of this um relationship of this connection based on where it is at the moment based on your situation uh, for some of you this was unexpected it kind of sprung up on you wasn't expecting it for some of you it kind of developed over time yeah you see that we've got the full card yeah you want a solution on how to move ahead move 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 ahead you know, we've got the full card, which talks about new chapter, embarking on a new journey, adventure, and moving ahead with that. But you want a solution on how to do that, ideas on how to do it. You're just not sure how to cut ties, how to handle this other situation. You're not sure how to do that. So, the, you know, wh where do you go from here? Reflection. Reflection. If you get to a point when you self-reflect and understand what it is that you really want, then you know what what you need to do ultimately is get into that point of you know and we you you you're, I can hear some of you saying well yeah you know this is the person I want but I've got this that I've already established this I've got this that I've already built and it's so difficult because that means this 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 goes and I have to clear up all this mess that it might you know um, for some of you it's just a, a clean cut you you just need to take that plunge if this is something that you've already kind of established meaning a family marriage or whatever the case may be then you know this is not something that you can just quickly make a decision over like that however it's also not fair not to say that you are but I'm just saying to um, have this person not to say you are again uh, but um, in this space of and maybe you have communicated I don't see that here but this is a situation that needs space for you to kind of figure out what it is that you want and for this person to gain their balance back, cross watcher. This person is, yeah, they need to be stable emotionally and mentally. It's, you know, it's tough on both of you. Um, and you can't operate under those emotions. Both of you can't operate under those emotions. So it's about taking some space. If you haven't communicated with this person, communicate, communication needs to be brought brought to the table you know um, are you scared of losing this person well if it's this type of connection that you feel that it is of course not you shouldn't you know you don't come across these types of uh, connections every day so 
there's nothing wrong. I mean, people can misunderstand that, you know, as soon as you meet someone and you connect with them, then you should rush into a relationship. Well, no, sometimes we need a bit of time to uh, figure things out or get things into place or manage other things that we've uh, haven't got ties with or committed to uh, in order for us to now proceed within this relationship. So sometimes we need a bit of time um, and that simply could be it. But self-reflection, you need to take some time to think about and digest what it is that you're actually going to do and how you're going to do it. You know what you want, but how you're going to do it. That's mainly, mainly the thing. So usually at this point, we, I kind of um, would pull some cards on, you know, certain questions that might have arose in this in this spread um, in part two of the reading. I will be implementing that in the next few weeks, guys. Look out for that. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day, and I shall see you next week.